Good morning, dogs, and welcome to the morning announcement. Prom, DECA, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tickets for prom have increased to $30 today. Get them all you can before they increase to five more dollars tomorrow. Be sure to turn in your permission slip and remember, there is no school on Friday, which means there will be no ticket sales. Tomorrow is the last day. In DECA Backpack Buddy News, every week we highlight the DECA member who created the week's Buddy Bag menu, as well as give a shout out to the community class or organization who fills the week's Buddy Bags. Frankfurt DECA's Community Service Project provides weekend Buddy Bags to Frankfurt K-12 students. Thank you to first year member Crystal Angelis Mejia for creating the Week 29 menu. A shout out to Mr. Fields Community Class for filling Week 29 Buddy Bags. 119 Buddy Bags will be sent home this weekend. Youth Rise applications for the 2023-2024 school year are open. This is for any student in Clinton County that will be in grades 9 through 12 next school year. The application link and additional information will be found in the chatter. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Thanks, Emily. The boys and girls track team both had outstanding performances on Tuesday at North Montgomery. It was beautiful weather and the team took advantage of the warm day to hit a bunch of new PRs. Almost every athlete got a new personal best in at least one event. The guys team was led by Jacob Burns who had won the discus, 100 meter, and 200 meter. The four by one team of Jacob Burns, Jonathan Bautista, Juan Ramos, and Troy Gamboa also won. The distance group had a great day with Angel Perez winning the 800, Daniel Pritchett winning the 1600, and Chris Angeles winning the 3200. The boys 4x8 team also took first place, and the 4x4 team of Garrick Burge, Alex Lopez, Angel Perez, and Mario Lopez ended the meet in exciting fashion with a dramatic finish. The boys moved to 4-1 on the season. And the girls team also made huge strides last night with Jalen Vessel got a new PR in the 100 and 200. Jocelyn Ramirez and Ella McAtee got first and third in the high jump. Vanessa Gerardo won the shot put and Anna Beardsley won the 100 hurdles. Ashley Vasquez Rivera had a great night winning the 3200 and the girls four by one team won and hit a new PR. The girls four by eight team also took first while Alina Ramirez took second in the 1600 and Naomi Garcia took second in the 800. Both teams are in action at the Charger Relays on Friday, but let's take a quick break and send it off to Lily for your daily weather report. Thank you, Holden. Walking into school today, it was a nice and fresh 52 degrees with clear skies, which will be the low for today. Today is expected to be sunny and warm with the high being 77 degrees around 5 to 6 p.m. Make sure to go outside and enjoy some beautiful sun while you can, because in the following week, it is expected to be full of cloudy days. That's all for your weather update. Now back to Holden with more sports. Thanks, Lily. Hot Dog Linksman opened the 2023 season with a 197 to 214 loss to Western Boone. Match medalist was Lagrange from Western Boone with a 46. Hot Dog scores Luke Beardsley 51, Jackson Ray 52, Harrison Kiger 55, Xavier McIntosh 56. Also playing were Caleb Compton, 57, Alex Taylor, 59, Edwin Wayne Scott, 60, and Trey Sewards, and Jackson Wads with 64s. Hot Dogs travel to Monticello to play in the Twin Lakes Invitational on Saturday. The varsity baseball team opened up conference play with a 9-3 win over Lebanon. Brian Valdez picked up a sec his second win of the season with five strong innings. Jose Lopez had a three-run double to lead the offense, and they are on the road today to face off against Lebanon again. Last night, the girls' softball team also faced off against Lebanon, falling 28-2. They are back in action today, traveling to Lebanon for the second game. Best of luck to them. Game begins at 6. The girls' tennis team played Western Boone last night. Libby Pierce played a solid match last night with Libby and her opponent when they went head-to-head -head with many points. When some of the amazing shots after splitting the two sets, the match was determined by a 10-point tiebreak. 
Western scored the first point, but Libby took charge after that and had won her match. But sadly, it wasn't enough, and the final score was 1-4. to four. Their next match is against Benton Central on Saturday. That's all for Sports Today, dogs. Now back to your hosts. Everyone give the dogs an orchestra who performed at the school board meeting last night and applaud for their performance. As all of you know, the Frankfurt Police Department rescued six people from a house fire last week. We would like to take a moment to thank them for their hard work and dedication. A thank you goes out to Officer Freddie Martinez, Sergeant Andrew Snyder, and Officer Madison Douglas. Also, thank you to Police Chief Shoemaker for allowing the Hot Dog Network to be included into the remote, remote broadcast on the Fox News. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be chicken snack wrap, and line 3 will be potato soup and salad bar. And line 4, there will be mozzarella sticks. Also, a special happy birthday goes out to Kirsten Halsterman, David Ramiro, and Sarai Sorares, Elena Ramirez, Kaden Jarman, and Salvador Hernandez. Well, that's all for today's announcement, dogs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Have an amazing day.